Okay, uh, first I'd, I'd like to thank organizers for having me here today and uh, giving me some opportunity to give this talk. Uh, today I'm going to talk about some uh, exact formulas in the integrable particle models with the multi-species. So, um, <clears throat> uh, in this workshop, uh, the Tomohiro Sasamoto gave a mini-talk mini talk on, on similar topics, but uh, it's about um, the single-species uh, models. So you can think that my talk is going to be some extension to the exten uh, uh, extension to the multi-species models by using the coordinate beta answers. So here, um, uh, first, yeah. So I'm going to uh, talk about extending the use of coordinate beta answers to particle models with the multi-species, as I said. And to do so, uh, I'm giving um, uh, to talk about some uh, the transient probabilities and. Uh, and then I'm going to give some uh, probabilities derived from that transit probabilities. Also, I'm going to talk about some integrability in, use, uh, in, the, in, in using the coordinate beta answers. So Tomohiro Sasamoto uh, gave a talk about the integrability in algebraic coordinate beta answers. So here you, you can see some use of the uh, integrability in the coordinate beta answers. So, um, so integrable probability, uh, uh, named by the, the Alexei Borodin a few years ago, uh, is about some um, uh, models, the exact of models whose uh, probabilities can be uh, expressed by a uh, closed form. So here the better and the inter integrable, or one, in particular integrable one-dimensional particle models can be thought of as something like the better answers applicable uh, particle models. So here, um, the question, the typical question is going to be: uh, So, is if if we have some given particle models, then you can ask: uh, Is that is that particle model integrable in the sense that we can can we use the better coordinate better answers or uh, algebraic algebraic better answers and so on? Or uh, the second question is going to be: the how, how can you how can you define the integrable particle models? If we so, let's say we have some um, general models. Now how can we uh, derive some integrable models from the given general model? That's, that's going to be uh, some, gen uh, some general questions in this area. So example of the integrable particle models are, are ASAP, as we have seen uh, uh, before, or the Q ASAP, Q, T Q, Q totally zero in the process, or the Q Han, Q push ASAP, and so on, as uh, Tom had mentioned today or yesterday. So all these things are uh, contributed by the Brodin, Corwin, Petro, Popolsky, Sasanoto, and so on. There are many uh, contributors to uh, these integral particle models. And what is going to be checkpoints for coordinate better answers applicability? So we have to check the two things to, uh, in order to see if we can see if you can use the coordinate better answers. So first, two particle interaction reducibility. So uh, uh, yes, we have actually we, the Tomohiro explained this one uh, in uh, TASEP or ASEP case in the mini talk. Uh, so uh, the, the two particle interaction to, uh, reducibility means so uh, boundary conditions for n particle interactions they can be uh, just reduced to the two particle boundary conditions. So that is going to be two particle interaction reducibility. The second checkpoint is going to be Yang-Baxter equation, <coughs> but in particular. Um, uh, in case of the, the single species models, actually, uh, uh, we, we actually we don't we don't need to check we don't need to check the Yang-Baxter equations because you um, kind of the, this Yang-Baxter equation in single species model is kind of very trivial, so there's nothing to check. But for multi-species models, uh, yeah, we have to check the Yang-Baxter equations in the, some sense. So in the, here, the Yang-Baxter equation means um, a little bit uh, in, in different sense. From the, the algebraic, algebraic coordinate, algebraic beta answers. So here, so later in this slide, I'm going to show uh, what do what what we mean by yang bax equation and coordinate beta answers. And what is it going to be ASAP with the multi species? The def, probably many of you already know the definition of ASAP with the multi species. So uh, here, the uh, the one, two, four, three. This means the the, the species. So so here, um, this is the, the particle. Particle which belongs to species one and this particle which belongs to two, species two, and so on. So here the rule is the highest higher species particles have a priority of lower species particles, which means 
uh, if this particle two, particle species, species particle two tries to jump to, uh, to the right side with probability P, then um, uh, the higher, so, so this particle, species, part, species four particle uh, has a higher priority, so uh, this guy cannot jump to the, the right side because this is, this is, so this lower species particle sees the higher species particle as the particle, so we, we have the same uh, the exclusion rule, so this guy cannot jump to the right side. But um, if this guy tries to, to, to the left side with a property, uh, with, uh, with a property Q, then this guy uh, has the priority over this lower species particle. So we can, this guy can jump to the, the left side, even if this, this site is occupied by exchanging these two position of these two things like that. So that's basic, uh, basic rule. Uh, some, so also, yeah, if the four particles uh, species of four, species of four particles try to jump to the right side, then you can change by exchanging the positions. We can uh, uh, we have these uh, configurations. Also, um, this A set with the multi species can be uh, seen as a basic coupling method. The usual basic coupling of a usual A set with different initial configurations. So here, so so each line each line can be thought of as just usual A set. So we have four usual A steps with a different different initial configurations. So as so as, as we have known in the second class particle problem, so in second class particle it can be seen as a discrepancy in the coupling of two two uh, two usual A steps with different configurations. So extending that concept to the multi species models, so we can think that we can think that uh, we have we have a different kind of the discrepancies. In this case. So there's no, uh, just do, looking at the, this vertical lines, and here there's no holes, but here's just one hole, and there are two holes, and three holes, and so on. So all these things can be sort of this, uh, different discrepancies. So as you can, so we can think that this guy, so the, this guy as the, the species of four particles, and this guy as the, the uh, species of three particles, and so on. Then, by, um, so, uh, uh, so if the alarm clock at this site is a, uh, 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 is a ring, then let's say all these particles try to jump to the right by the rule of the usual ASAP, then, this, uh, so then these three particles cannot jump to the right side because these particles are, these sites are occupied by another particles. So, uh, but this guy, this particle can jump to the right side because this site is, the, uh, is empty. So the next configuration is gonna be, um, this one, and you can think that this, here the, four, so the species of four particles can jump to the right side by exchanging, exchanging the position of these two the particles that we have the, uh, these configurations. <laughs> Similarly, yeah, if this particle try, if this particle try to jump to the right side, then also we can think that uh, this the species of four particles to the jump to the uh, to the right the jump to the, to the right side by exchanging these two uh, uh, these two uh, these two particles. So, so by, by having this coupling, basic coupling, basic coupling of this usual ASAPs, we also have the um, definition of the ASAP with the modern species. Okay, then um, what, 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 uh, what do we want to learn from this definition of ASAP with the, with the modern species? So we, want to, so we want to get the transfer probability by using the coordinate bed answers. So integrable model means Integral particle models on one dimensional means we want to, uh, we can get the uh, trans transient probability in the in some exclosed in closed form. So uh, there are some possible results. So trace actually trace and rhythm um, uh, gave the formulas of transient probability in 2013, uh, but partially. So he they they gave some formulas, but. Um, um, uh, one, 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 one part, one part in the formula is, uh, is not explicitly introduced in the paper. Also, the uh, Chatterjee and the Schultz uh, gave the formulas for uh, two species models. So, uh, so this, uh, this work, this talk is going to be some extension of these two uh, previous, uh, previous papers. So, uh, in the multi-species ASAP, so we can think that uh, the pair of this larger x and pi is going to be the uh, one state uh, one state of this multi-species A set. Here, a larger x is going to be positional particles. 
so x1 is going to left most particle, and x2 is going to second left most particle, and so on. And also, the state is specified by uh, the kinds, kinds of kinds of species. So pi is going to be a permutation of a multi-set of cardinality n with elements taken from uh, this set. So since we consider since we considered n large n particle systems, so at most we at most we have a large n kinds of uh, species. So so let's say let pi be uh, the permutation of multi-set of cardinal to n with, take, with elements taken from this set. So the pair, this pair is going to be our state of, the, of this multi-species A set. So here, um, uh, we, we, can, we can understand that this, this state as, uh, let's say, uh, leftmost, uh, i's, i's leftmost particle is, stated, uh, is located at xi and that belongs to the pi, uh, pi i. So we can understand that way in uh, these notations. So that is notation for the state. Then, so we, we want to find, we know what to find that this conditional uh, probability or transition probability given, so here the y comma nu is going to be initial state, and we want to find this transition probability from this initial state to this final state at uh, later time t. So we want to find this formula for general um, case. So, new, so this, uh, uh, this permutation multi set, pi or nu, can be anything. So it can be one 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 one, which is, which is correspond to the just usual A step case, or all n particle can belong to different um, different uh, species as well. So we can consider we can we can we can think of any kind of this situation. So we want to find that for, that for, uh, general form, formulas. Excuse me, finite. Yes, yeah. So we consider finite systems. Finite systems. On, on Z, yes, on the link to the lattice Z. So if we, so we, we, so we consider the large n particles on the Z, and also we can we consider uh, that large n particles can belong to at most the large n different species. Yep. Um, so in order to find this general formula, so we're going to view this transient probability as a pi new element of this. Uh, large n to the power n by large n, n to the power n matrix. So uh, since this permutation of multi-set uh, can be um, uh, anything of this n to the power n, to the power n uh, element, so we, let's see, let's see, uh, let's consider uh, this guy as a uh, matrix element of this guy. So we, we consider some big matrix n to the power n, n to the power n by n to the power n matrix, whose elements are this uh, are this just uh, this uh, terms of probabilities? And then let's call that matrix be this block letter P Y X T. <laughs> then how do we uh, uh, arrange this row and column? So well, for example, we can uh, we can we can rearrange this row and column in lexicographical order from one 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 to n n n n n n so from the top to bottom or the left to the right. <laughs> So that is the, uh, the this matrix. Okay. So um, now, how can find the transient probability? So yeah, I'm going to borrow this. So actually, I I slightly changed my I changed my slide because I want to fit into Tomohiro's uh, the lecture notes. So I just borrow these notations. So here, you you're familiar with this notation from the Tomohiro's lecture notes. So here. So finding trends of probabilities this correspond to the solution to this eigenvalue problem. But here now, in Tomohiro's lecture note, this was a scalar thing. But here now, uh, um, excuse me. Yeah. so here I just put this block uh, psi, big psi. So here, uh, now we can, so in, in finding this object, in finding this sub matrix, so now, uh, now our problem is to find uh, this uh, finding trans probability corresponding to uh, this eigenvalue problem where this psi, the block psi is matrix. This is also matrix. So our problem is to find this solution, solution to this, uh, this eigenvalue problem with n minus one boundary conditions for this guy and the initial condition for, uh, uh, for, for this uh, trans probability matrix. Okay. 
Then, according to the better answer, so yeah, also you have seen this kind of object in uh, um, I'm sorry, this is for the single, single species, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So all, all these things from the, the Tomato's uh, action node, right? So we, we so, so just recall all these things for uh, the single species that is set. Yeah. So for, for our case, yeah, so here, yeah, also we have seen, um, we have seen, uh, so if, yeah, if, if, if this A, yeah, here, yeah, so we have seen, if this A sigma, if A sigma satisfies this, this quantity, then all part of all boundary conditions are satisfied. So all these things are for, for the single species, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and uh, so for, from this for, from this configuration, so for, from this uh, condition, so if a sigma a sigma is uh, a sigma is given as product of this a, uh, s beta uh, s beta alpha, which is what's called the scattering matrix, then uh, 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 then all, all uh, then all, all the boundary conditions satisfied. So here the the, the product is over all inversions of this the s beta alpha in the sigmas. So yes, yeah, so all this story is for single species models. So we, we want to extend these things to the multi species. Yeah. yeah. So as I skip this one, yeah. yeah so let's go to our, our object. Yes, multi species. Yeah, so here, okay, now our problem. Yeah, our problem is to, to find this matrix P, P, Y, X, T, not the, the scalar thing. So our problem is to find this matrix thing to correspond to this eigenvalue problem. The same way, in the same way as a single species, so see, uh, we want to find a solution with these boundary conditions, with n minus one boundary condition for this the matrix. Uh, matrix. Here's the matrix psi x one dot 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 x n means uh, this is this guy is n, n to the power n by n to the power n matrix of so the elements whose elements are the scalar function for, for the scalar function of this x one to x n, and also uh, our solution must satisfy this initial condition. And the boundary, con actually I haven't specified the boundary condition in the single species case as well, but uh, uh, boundary the form or the boundary condition for this matrix function is the same form as the, uh, as the ones in the single species A step. So coordinate pair the answers implies uh, A solution. Okay, one solution of this eigenvalue problem <coughs> is given as in the, same, in the same form as the single species form, but here, Okay, I said that this big psi, that was n to the power n by n to the power n matrix. So now, uh, coded the answer states, uh, this guy is written as the sum of all permutations of Sn of this, uh, this uh, the block A sigma, which is n to the power n by n to the power n, also, this, is like, this is also n to the power n by n to the power n matrix, uh, times this product of this quantity, which is the same as in the single species case. So here, A sigma is a matrix whose elements are constant, independent of these variables, these variables. So the only difference between these, uh, the, the, this, the, this object uh, from the single species case is we just extend to the matrix. So all this psi and A sigma, that is just n to the power n by n to the power n matrix. So as I said, in the single species, uh, if we had these conditions, so where this quantity is the S matrix, then all boundary conditions are satisfied. So now, for, uh, in multi-species case, now we have a little different things. So we can, we can show, we can show if the, the matrix, matrix A sub T, Ti sigma is given as this matrix times A sigma, then we can, show, we can show that all boundary conditions, all boundary conditions are satisfied. Here the Ti, so, so this, this Ti is this, uh, this transposition which, uh, which, which uh, exchange the position, exchange of the i's and i plus one's uh, entries in this, the permutations. So if this a, a Ti sigma is given as this quantity times A sigma, then we can show that all boundary conditions are satisfied. Here i is n, n by n identity matrix. And here I have to say what this R is. <coughs> this R is, uh, is R matrix, where uh, it's defined by the next slide. So here, 
uh, here R matrix is n, n square by n square, n, n square by n square matrix defined by uh, this way. So it is a little uh, complicated. Um, so this R matrix, uh, at, this R matrix is elements uh, is, is specified of these quantities. So here, uh, since R, R matrix is n square by n square matrix, so I just put the uh, uh, notations for row and column as ij and kl. The ij and kl can be any num uh, positive numbers from 1 to n. Well, if you have seen this one first object, first, uh, first quantity, yeah, this is very familiar. We are familiar with this, uh, this first one. So you, this is S matrix in the single species, uh, single species uh, ASAP. So all of the different, all other things are a little uh, 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 different from other, the, the uh, single species case. But uh, as an example, to, to be more familiar with this R matrix, it, uh, I'm giving you some example of this R matrix. So here, for example, if we consider n equal to three case, <coughs> R matrix is given as follows. So we, I just, I just, stay, I just arranged all the rows and columns as this in, the, in this row. So in, in the lexicographical order. So 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, and, and so on. Okay. So this definition of R matrix states that uh, all here, all on the diagonal, we have the S beta alpha, P, Q, and so on. So all these quantities are defined as this way. So S is going to be this one, P is going to be this one, Q this one, and so on. Oops. And the off and on, and on off diagonal terms is going to be this one, yeah, this way. So all other empty spot is going to be zero. Okay, so we have many zeros, but uh, we have some special uh, terms on the diagonal term, diagonal, and on and also some a few uh, off diagonal terms, uh, off diagonal terms as given as t uh, uh, functions. Case version of the six vertex model. Look like. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, well, that, that, that's that's a good point. Actually, yes. Yeah. So as as the tomato said, as the tomato said, actually the multi-species ASAP is uh, one specialization of the stochastic uh, the six vertex model. So, um, well, in uh, I don't know exactly how we can convert, but all these all these quantities can be converted to some. Um, uh, some 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 uh, some some, quant some quantities in that that four by four matrix in give, given by, given in the, the stochastic six vertex model. But uh, as as far as I remember, um, um, that on off diagonal terms in six vertex stochastic six vertex model terms, so these two these two guys these two guys should be the same. Is that is that true in the so I, okay, yeah, so here we have the different primes of P and Q. Yeah, okay. You were, uh, anyway, so I didn't start it with a, a, a stochastic six vertex model, so we just started the multi-species ASAP, and then we get the, this one. So, yeah, well, uh, I, don't, I don't know why we have, but we have in different, different primes of P and Q in this case. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the, uh, the example. So, so our, our matrix, it looks like this. Okay, so we have a, you have a big uh, different n, and we have the different, the bigger. Uh, the structure is almost the same as this one. So we have some diagonal terms, which consist of S, P, Q, and so on. And some off diagonal terms, we have some T, P, T, or Q, T, and so on. So you can think that this quantity represents some uh, some describe describe some some interaction of two particles. So this p t beta alpha means the starting from two one species two species two one. Then you can change you can change the uh, the, the order by uh, by by jumping. So so two one two the the configuration two one to one two that is described by this p t beta alpha. And the S beta, S, S beta alpha, this, this quantity describes just the usual exclusion, exclusion interaction. And one, two, two, one, two, that means uh, if, if we have the species of one and species of two, then uh, there are two possible, two possible configurations. There are no, there, there are no uh, change in the configuration or they can change the configurations by, 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 uh, by jumping of particle two to the left side. So this this p this p quantity describes there are no change no change in the order of these configurations. 
Well, if we have a 2 1 to 2 1, then we have the Q, just Q beta alpha described to that load change, uh, load change um, uh, uh, configurations. Okay, so, um, so as in the single space case, so uh, since any permutation can be written as the product of, product of transpositions for some, um, uh, some uh, finite sequence, where I, uh, I want to IK as elements of this one to N. Of course, this, uh, this product uh, representation is not unique, but uh, by, using, by, uh, by, by using the Brader relations, actually, we can express by this, you can express this, we can express this permutation as a unique, uh, uh, unique expressions. But here, as in the single space case, so we want, you might want to say, this a sigma, where a, where a sigma, where sigma is written as this way, this one. Uh, so for each for each t each t uh, each t i each t i transposition, um, there is this some matrix because yes. Yeah, so here we call yeah, we call this one. So for each t i for each t i uh, transposition, so we have these. This matrix, which is defined by Ti, so this is this notation. Okay, so here we, so we 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 have these conditions. So if Ti sigma uh, can be represented by this matrix, which is defined by this large Ti, then we had all uh, bounded conditions satisfied, right? So since we have these conditions, you might want to say for any general uh, permutation a, a sigma, the a sigma. Uh, uh, should be written as a product of these matrices. So here, yeah, this is a little com uh, the, uh, complicated notations, but we, it's general to extend to extend the single spaces idea to uh, this case. Yeah. So uh, to, to do so, uh, uh, the matrix Ti, Ti, which is defined by yeah, I, the tenth product of these matrices, of this R matrix and this identity matrices, so to this, to this, to this, so Ti can be written as product of this one. So this, this Ti matrix most, most satisfies its consistency relations. So these consistent relations um, inherited from the greater, greater relations of these uh, transpositions. So Ti, this matrix, this matrix Ti, Tj must be equal to Tj, Ti for this case, as we, uh, as, as we're familiar with the greater relations of transpositions. <laughs> And so on. So this last equation, this last equation is called the yang bexley equations. But here, so Ti, which, uh, which is the uh, uh, tensor product of this guy, should satisfy, uh, in particular, these yang bexley equations. In, multi, in single species case, uh, we don't have to worry about this one because this, uh, this, this quantity is a subscalar thing, uh, this one, this, this quantity. So, uh, this yang bexley equation trivially satisfied, but here now we have matrices. So, uh, the, so we have to check this, uh, you have to check this uh, yang bexley equations, but here for mostly, this Ti matrix mostly consists of uh, the identity matrices, so it's possible to show only for this case, only for uh, this R matrix, uh, R matrix with uh, tense product of the, of the identity matrix and so on. Actually, this uh, yang bexley equation uh, is, uh, is verified from, uh, 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 from other, uh, uh, other, other, professor, uh, other papers. But here I'm going to show, um, uh, by, uh, I'm going to show some, some another way, another approach to check these uh, yang bexley equations. So here, um, so recall this R matrix, each R matrix is N squared by N squared matrix, and I is, N, N, I is N by N matrix, so we have to actually N cubed by N cubed matrix. So we have to check the, the, the equality of these matrices. Um, but uh, the idea is, so it's possible to show only for two, especially for only for two types of sub-matrices sub of this N, N cubed by N cubed matrix. So, uh, First, we note that if two permutations, i, j, k, and l, m, n, are, uh, are not from the same multiset, then i, j, k, and l, m, n elements of this matrix, or this matrix, or, or these types of matrix, are zeros. Because that, that makes sense physically, because 
uh, there are no interact. So if we have if if we have initial uh, uh, initial uh, configurations of par particles, I, J, K kind species, and if we have L, M, N uh, species later. So if these two things are not from the same multiset, then there are no uh, there are no probabilities. So obviously uh, we can we can just see that the, that ele these elements are going to be zero. So we can we can rearrange we can rearrange all these uh, rows and columns uh, to make to make the block diagonal. So for example, uh, this is the easy example. So if we have rearranged the old rows and columns this way, so let's say, so, so, so we just put, there's a one, 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 which is from the one, one, the multiset one, 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 and then we put the two, 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 and so on. And then here we put one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one. So all these permutations from the, the same multiset one, one, two, and so on. So we put the same uh, permutations in the same location for the row and the columns and so on. Then we see that all our matrix is going to be this, this block diagonal matrix. In this way, so by rearranging, rearranging these, these matrices in that way, then we have this, this type of block diagonal matrix. <coughs> then let this guy sub i j k be sub matrix of this guy, which is uh, which is ob obtained by taking only rows and columns with the labels of permutations of the multi i j k. So, so the, so here in, in in this notation, yeah. So this big matrix, this big matrix is uh, is more kind of this kind of things. So if all these different things, all the i j k are different numbers, then we have the different uh, this type form. Well, one one two has a different form, this form and this form and so on. So let's say yeah, we are tens product our tens product with i with this i j k has this, these notations. So if we have this, then it suffices to show only uh, only for this case for Yang Yang Max equations. Actually, we have to yeah we have to sh we have to show Yang Max equation for this case. But since we have no now, we have to block diagonal matrix by rearranging all the rearranging rows and columns. Now it suffices to show Yang Max equation for uh, for only sub matrices. So we can now there are two, only two types of the sub matrices. All all i j k are different, or two uh, elements are the same, and it, the last one is different. So, so this type, or the, so this type, or this type. So it, for the test product of i with r case, we have this type or this type. So for only for this case, we can just show this yang max equation. Then that's, that gives the proof of the yang yang equation for general case. So that's uh, that, uh, that, that, that's kind of technique to check the yang max equation in the coordinate bed answers. So, so for this for for so, so few special cases, we can show the yang max equation. That means yeah, this multi species A is integrable. Yeah, of course, the integrability of yang max equation <coughs> can be verified from the algebra bed answers. But yeah, so this is a use, uh, this is a method to check the by using the coordinate bed answers as well. So I'm just showing, so actually the, the integrability of multi-species assay was, was known a long time ago, but I'm just showing uh, how we approach this one by using the coordinate bed answers method. So finally, <coughs> uh, final formula of tensor probability is just uh, as usual case of the single species. Now we can, we just take the contour integers as before. And this is going to be the final form of the tensor probabilities. Actually, this is matrix form. So here, the integral of this uh, integral the means actually uh, this integral is for each uh, the element of this matrix. So again, this is block a sigma that is n to the power n by n to the power n matrix. So uh, each element of this tensor probability uh, probability is given as integral of the element of this guy. That is the formula. So now, now uh, I'm, going to sh I'm going to see some the determinant formula in the taste with the multiple species. So as, as we have said in the Tom Aero's lecture, so we had the Gunther Schultz uh, gave, the, uh, gave this determinant formula for the transit probability. So in the taste with the single species, also I yeah, borrowed the notations from the, the Tom Aero's lecture note. So, P, so transit probability PYXT, that is given a determinant of this quantity where F, 
and xt is given as this quantum integer. Yeah, so the transparability is just a determinant of this quantity, the, the integer of some one single variable. Uh, also, um, the Sakuntala charge and the Gunther Schultz uh, had the determinant formula for taste of the second class of particles. So, um, but in, in that case, uh, they considered uh, they considered the case that there's no change in the order. There no change in the order of the the, the, the the species. So here, the initial let's say initial species is pi, and the final species also pi. So if there's no no change in the order of the uh, species, so in this case, if they consider the case with the second particle. That means pi is going to be something like the two 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 one one one, and the final configuration uh, is two 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 one one and so on. They will consider only two types of the uh, particles. In that case, yeah, they also have shown that this transparability is also written as a determinant of this quantity, where the f uh, f uh, f is same as this one, but now here the n is replaced by n k comma j, which is uh, uh, this quantity. So here, this n k comma j that is the sign of this k minus j. So if this is, if this quantity is plus, then that plus or minus and so on, and times absolute value of k minus j. And n21, n21 means here the number of two one pairs occurring between case, uh, the, the case position and the ice position in case position in the pipe. So, so n21 is this number of that two one pairs. But that's the um, the, the determinant formula for the taste. So, so uh, this determinant formula is for only uh, the case, only for the case that there's no change in the order. Of course, if pi and pi is given as just one 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 or one 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 two, which is like to just usual taste step, then we recover to uh, this uh, Schultz formula. For the multi species multi species assay, we can also extend it to extend this result to multi species taste as well. <laughs> as you uh, uh, as we easily just guess the formula. So here, okay, let, 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 let's guess the formulas. Just without the proving. So here, let's say we have now taste with a multi species. So here, when we have only two species of one and two, then n two one is just a number of two one pairs occurring between k and the j positions in in this pi. So what if now we are, what if now we have n? What if now we have the, the many species? Now just n two one. N two one is uh, just replaced by n alpha beta and alpha beta where an alpha beta is the number of alpha beta pairs where alpha is greater than beta. It's a reasonable uh, extension, but we can also prove uh, prove the uh, prove, prove mathematically. So for the multi for the taste with the multi species, so still if we assume that there's no change in the order of the kind of the species, of the initial species the order of initial species and final species, then still this transparability is written as determinant of this quantity where uh, this function is integral, like yeah, as defined as this one. Yeah, so that is the, 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 uh, um, the determinant of formula for the taste of case. So what, what, what else we can do by using the, 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 the transparabilities? Yeah, so I said it is no change. Oh yeah, I have to say, say this one. Yeah. So no change. What does, what does that mean by no change? No change in the order in the taste of case. That means that means. So if you have if you have many many kind many kinds of species, actually uh, uh, the higher higher species can uh, can uh, um, uh, high species high higher higher species higher species of particle the path can intersect of the low species particle the case, right? But no change in the order means there, the paths of the particle do not intersect with each other. So in this case, if there's no, if, if, if the paths of particles do not intersect, then this probability can be written as determinant, it has a determinant formula. So that's the, uh, what this formula said. So um, alternatively, so I said here uh, we can express uh, this trans probability by using this determinant of formulas. So also we can uh, we can uh, explicitly write down that uh, trans probability by using this integral for, uh, integral formulas. So here uh, this p uh, p y comma pi x comma pi t that is one element. Then is a one element. Pi pi is a pi 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 element. Pi pi element of 
uh, of this guy, right? So that is, uh, can be written as an integral formula of this big matrix, this big matrix is a pi pi element. Now how can you find, how can you find that this, uh, this matrix is a pi pi element? I mean, that um, di some diagonal term. So there's an easy, easy algorithm to find that this diagonal, uh, this, uh, diagonal term. So let sigma be uh, this product of tensor position as before. Then the scattering matrix, scattering matrix for T, T, uh, tensor position Ti, L, that is given as minus one or this quantity. For the taste of case, for the taste of case, there are only two possible two possible uh, scattering matrix for this uh, for each tensor positions minus one over the, this quantity. So if i if i number in the pi is greater than i l plus one number, then we assign minus one. Uh, otherwise, we put the uh, this minus minus one minus one minus psi beta divided by one minus psi alpha. So. Um, uh, yeah, this is a little, uh, 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 com looks complicated, but uh, as an example, so, um, uh, let me see. Okay, that's fine, yeah. yeah. So that's the, how we, we give the, uh, the diagonal terms of this, this quantity. Um, so by using this, this, this one, so we can, okay, now let's, let's, try to, let's consider the stability condition case. So here, uh, let, let, uh, let let's let's consider uh, the order of the uh, order of the uh, order of the of the species as follows. So let's say let's consider n n minus one n minus two n so on one. Let's consider all these uh, all these different species of particles are located at minus one up to minus n. Okay, so let's consider this step in these conditions. So wh why do we why why do we consider this step in these conditions? Well, I I I I I have no uh, actually. Uh, the concrete uh, reason, actually. So, so usually we consider stability condition, but why do we consider the case that all, all, all particles are different? We, we, why do we consider this one? So I have no idea. <laughs> actually, I just tried to this, this is special, very special stability condition. Actually, yeah, uh, the, the recent paper by Brodin and the Wheeler also considered that this type of stability conditions in um, their very big paper posted on last summer. So uh, I, uh, they gave also some probability formulas for this for this for this Venus condition. So I tried I tried this uh, this case as well in my uh, work. So so let's consider let's consider these stability conditions. Okay? So all different species particles are located at this uh, this site. Okay then um, by using this algorithm by using this algorithm. So which means, so if i's, i's number in pi is greater than i plus one plus, i plus one, plus one's number is greater, uh, greater than this number, then we put minus one. That means so here, if we have this pi, then any, if you choose any i's number, then i, uh, i, i, that i's plus one, next number is gonna be smaller, right? So we have, so we have this case. So we, so if we have this, as uh, pi, then we assign this minus one for the scattering matrix. Then that means that means that this uh, uh, the diagonal term of the a sigma is given as a sign of this part of this, permuta uh, this, this, this permutations. So simply, this trans transition probability is written as the counter integral of this the sum of the permutations of the sign of its permutation times this, this quantity. So here. Uh, this quantity is just replaced by the sign of the permutations, so plus one over minus one. So from this, <coughs> now what can we uh, consider? So, so what, what observables, what probability is meaningful is not, not clear yet, but I tried to find, I tried to find some closed form of some probabilities. So I don't know. I didn't. I don't know what what is going to be very meaningful. But I tried anyway. I tried to find some. I tried to see if there is some closer form of probabilities. So here, what I find is, so let's consider the all probability that all particles have passed x without intersecting paths. This means that all particles have passed without uh, re keeping the order of the particles. In that case. 
we, so that's why we consider this, probability, this condition probability with no change of orders. So for, to compute this probability, we sum this condition probability of all possible configurations of X. Then what we obtained is that probability is going to be given as a disclosure form of the probabilities. So here, uh, the count of integral of that, uh, of, so here, we, so, 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 so we actually we have seen this quantity many times in taste of, taste of problems. Right? So, uh, I, but we have, so we have this quantity, in the denominator, we have a one minus psi i and psi j. So I don't know how, uh, how much we can go further from these probabilities. Um, yeah, so if you're familiar with the combinatorics, then uh, is there, so is, is there, uh, sorry? Yeah, yeah, so, so, I, had, so I, I was wondering if there is some quantity of this, pro, this product of, of psi j minus psi i divided by one minus psi n psi j. So there is some object in the combinatorics. The, the, yeah. the, okay, of course, determinant. Uh, yeah, okay. Then, then course, determine times that, okay, that quantity. So, so, so it's, it's going to be something, but, um, yeah, let, 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 let's see, let, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's the, uh, some closer form of this probability. Yeah, so again, this probability was obtained when we consume, when we assume that there's no change in the order. Okay, so, um, so, that, so, so another one is, so another stabilis condition, let's, okay, now let's say uh, we have this type of the stabilis conditions. Okay, so here in this case, we, we, we assume that all particles belong to different species, uh, as inspired from the actually the brought in the real world paper. But now here we uh, consider this type of the, the stabilis condition. So all these, all these n particles are, uh, at this minus one minus up to n up to minus n uh, sites, but now let's say we have k uh, k k uh, species two particles and n minus k species one particles. So there are two. So this this is the two species of systems. Okay. For this case, for this case, okay. Now let's call the, the permutation. So let's call, let's call this permutation new new k. So K, here the K, superscript, superscript K means number of, number of species two particles. So new zero means all particles are species one particles, like just usual case step. So for this stabilization condition, so now let, uh, let's consider this set. So X comma and this, uh, uh, the, the order and Let's say an x1 is x, x2 is x plus 1, dot, 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 xk is x plus k minus 1. So this is a set of all configurations, configurations such that all, second, all, all these species 2 particles are, uh, uh, are forming the plug. So all these two, two species particles are x, x plus 1, x plus 2, and so on. And I don't care about the, the species 1 particles. So probability. So I want to find I want to find the probability of this this, this event. Okay. So actually, the uh, the reason why I'm considering the, this event this event is uh, actually I, uh, this this was inspired from actually Trace Rhythms uh, recent paper about the block probabilities. There in their paper they consider the block uh, block of probability of some block of some particles. Block means uh, the particles uh, form like like this. All particles are aligned each other. So for this one, if we, can, if we compute the probability uh, of this event, then also we can obtain this, the, this probability of this, this closed form. In particular, if Y, initial, initial position particles are like this one to N, okay, then also we have this one, and, fi and finally, so yeah, this, this one, so here K, K, as I said, K is a number of, number of the species two particles. So here again, we have the contour integrals of the product of this, uh, the quantity which is very familiar with in random matrix theory. And also we have this one. So this quantity is very comparable to the usual taste step case. In the usual taste step, we have very, very similar quantity in the usual taste step. In the, in the usual taste step, yes, this is the same as this one, right? Also this, this quantity is the same as this one. The only difference between 
usual taste shape case and this block probability case is this exponent. Here in the usual taste shape case, we have the n. And uh, for the block probability of the, 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 the two species of model is we have n minus one. So the more, the more interesting is the, this, this quantity, this, this probability does not, does not depend on this number of the, the species two particles. So this does not depend on this k. So um, that's one, uh, also another, close the formal probabilities from the multi-species taste of case. Yeah, so, um, so, uh, so, I, uh, so that, that's it for the probabilities, uh, uh, so explicit, ex uh, exact formula of probabilities. So I cannot, so at, the, at, at this moment, I, uh, uh, I did not go, to, go, to go further for asymptotics or, so, so I don't know what, what actually, well, I don't know what, what, uh, what object is gonna be interesting or not in, at this level, so we have to see further. So this is for the uh, ASAP or TASAP with the multi-species case. Uh, then how about the other models? So, so the question is how, how should we define the integral of multi-species version of other models? So actually, yeah, as, as, as Tom Edo said this, this morning, uh, um, from the algebraic concept like the quantum group theory or the, the uh, stochastic high spins, uh, vertex model, something like that. So all from that, that, from that level also we can, uh, we can derive some uh, the integral particle models as well, but uh, how if we want to if we, if we want to define if we want to define some particle model starting from a general uh, particle model, how can we define the integral models? So the question is coupling. So from uh, from the sense from the sense of the multi-species the ASAP case, so we started from the the, the, the coupling coupling uh, base coupling, and then we def we could define the uh, the multi-species ASAP, then that multi-species ASAP was the uh, integrable. Then the coupling, basic coupling also works for other, other models to define integral models. So that, 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 that's one question. So if one species model is integrable, then is the multi-species version which is defined by this coupling also integrable? That's another question. So, so we can actually check this the integrability by using the same method as before in the uh, multi-species ASAP case by using the coordinate bet ansatz. Although we already know the integrability from the uh, the stochastic high spin vertex model as, uh, and so on, but this is another uh, the approach by using the coordinate bet ansatz. For example, uh, we can uh, in the for example, so I'm just showing the base coupling for another example of the particle models. In the long range test step. Long range, long range, long range tensor means the particle. Uh, it, 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 actually, this long range tensor is also called the drop push models, or just push push tensor. So particle in the long range tensor, particle just jump to the nearest empty state, empty 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 uh, empty, uh, empty site. So if this part, so this particle try to jump to the next site, then actually there are, this guy should jump to the, this nearest empty site. Okay, that's the long range tensor. So coupling, so let's say we have the three, three different long range taste steps with different initial conditions. Then by co basic coupling, uh, we can also define the multi-species long range taste step as follows. So here, if this guy, uh, if this guy tried to jump to the right, then there are no, there are no, there are no, no uh, particles here, so this guy can jump to the, this space and we have this configuration. So that, that means here species one, species one particle jump to the, this, this, uh, this side, and that means species one considers this higher species as a particle. So this guy jump to the, this side. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this last slide, yeah, yeah. So similarly, we can also uh, uh, consider, so if we try to jump to this guy to the right side, then this guy jump to uh, this guy, only this guy jump to the right side, and then we have the, this next configuration three to one, and so on. Okay. So actually, yeah. So we we, we could we could consider uh, this long range multi species long range taste step, but um, um, it's also can be seen as, this is also can be seen as integral by uh, by starting from actually Kunibat the, the Kunibat and the uh, Kunibat's, Kunibat's work from the. Uh, from, uh, they call it a uh, multi-species uh, course of the zero-range process. So their model can be 
uh, actually uh, another picture of this long range taste, the multi species long range taste steps as well. So, this is also another way of looking at uh, multi species internal models. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.